Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm here in Nanaimo at my house. Nice sunny day, relaxing, doing some work around here. So you guys might have seen my last video. I was out there with Waldy, Matt, Mike, and Fred. And we were uh, spearfishing and doing some cruising around the southern Gulf Islands and the west coast. We had a really fun day out there. It was a blast. I uh, couldn't have asked for any better conditions. We cruised into the Pender Island Bluffs. I had dove there before. It's a nice vertical wall. Lots of life out there too. And we briefly anchored and then checked the regulations and realized we were in one of those new closure areas to protect the southern resident killer whale populations. Pender Bluffs is a key foraging area and they don't want any marine traffic in there interfering with their feeding as their populations have been in decline over recent years. So we were in the closure, we were in there for roughly 15 minutes, set the anchor, uh, checked the regs and immediately once we found out we took the most direct route out of the closure and found an alternative place to dive. During that time we were in there, I guess someone from the bluffs took pictures of our vessel, recorded the registration number, reported it to the DFO, and Waldy got himself a phone call saying, hey, don't be in there. It's a new rule, a new restriction, so there's many people out there unaware of the closure, including us at the time. So honestly, kudos to whoever reported us. He did the right thing. Honestly, I would have done the same if I lived up there. And I don't think it was a, hey, let's get these people in trouble type of reporting. It was just a, hey, let's inform them so they're aware of the rules. So yeah, kudos. So I left a link in the description of the closures, the uh, coordinates. You can find them on Navionics. That's how we found them in combination with the DFO's website. I'm also going to put a link up outlining why the closure is in place. If you want to read up on it, there's some interesting information and other areas that you got to be mindful of before proceeding to. On another note, when we were done the day, we came in and loaded our boat onto the trailer and a police officer showed up and he was checking the boats behind us checking their catch ensuring that they were following all the rules i had a bit of small talk with the police officer I actually told him we were in that closure uh, he was aware of it he's a fisherman himself a uh, nice guy uh, but we realized once we were out at dinner we had link caught on us they're all of legal size we had crab on us all of legal size but the link we have we neglected to report them on our license so technically those fish would have been illegal had that officer checked our catch checked our licenses yeah we could have found ourselves in trouble honest mistake i haven't shot a link on on the inside waters in a couple of years now most of the harvesting i've been doing is on the west coast northern vancouver island where there's no annual limits but regardless no excuses uh, we made a mistake and luckily didn't pay the price for it uh, so you never know when an officer could show up and check your boat check your catch be at a dock and regardless you got to record them so even if they don't check you still have to record them uh, so make sure you guys are following all those rules i try to practice what i preach but i'm human i can make mistakes too uh, so thanks for watching and i apologize if the title here was a bit clickbait e but i figured hey get some knowledge and awareness out there for everybody uh, peace love everyone thanks for the support really appreciate it uh, see you on the next edit